Finally, you can import and export presets in just two clicks. How good is that? My name is Stefano and in this video I'm gonna show you how to work with presets and edit and save them, export and import like that. Something that was not possible with the older version of Darktable, but now with a newer version, fantastic. So let's get straight away into the video. And here I am with a dark table interface in the light table view. And I've selected a few photos for this video. And I go from Cuba to Russia to the Philippines to Vietnam. So a good mix of photos to show you a little bit more about the presets. Now, one thing I want to say, especially if you come from the Lightroom environment, in dark table there are styles and presets. They are both basically filters that um, you can use to improve your photos, or at least they should, because if you don't improve your photos, what's the point? But besides that, uh, the styles work with um, a set of modules. So for example, in a style, you can find a colorized modules and an exposure module and RGB curve, and you got the idea. Meanwhile, the presets are filters that apply to a single module. So there are presets for the RGB curve, presets for the colorize, presets for the exposure and so on and so forth. So let's get into this photo. I'll show you a little bit more about the presets, how to work with the presets. I'm gonna give away a few presets on the RGB curve and at the end of the video I will show you also how to apply these presets to all of the imported photos that you want and how to Input and export these presets in just one click, something you couldn't do with the older version of Darktable, and now you can do so easily. Okay, let's go into the first photo. This is a photo I did, for example, in Cuba. If I go into the uh, color zones, you will see all of your presets into this hamburger button. And there are presets that are predefined, so they come for free from a dark table. And then you can store your new preset here. So for example, if I apply the black and white film preset on this uh, photo, obviously the photo becomes black and white. Now, how can you define a new preset, your personal custom preset? So let's work on this photo. We have a saturation. Let's assume we want to actually take up these reds here and the bluish as well. So we just build a different kind of photo. Now you want to save this preset. What you do, you go here, you just say store new preset. So let's call it test. Uh, black and white with blue and red. Okay. And when you have done that, you have your own preset, which is called test black and white with blue and red. If you want to create a preset and apply this preset to all of your photos, for example, that you import, and let's assume you want to add one stop exposure to all of your photos, what you do, you activate this exposure, for example, here you say one stop, and then you save it as a preset, store new preset here, and you say one stop exposure, and you say to auto apply this preset to matching images, and you click here, and what you see is that you can define a filter where to apply automatically these presets on every time you import a photo based on the model, based on the make, on the lens, and so on and so forth. So for example, you could create your predefined uh, presets to apply when the ISO is over 1600 and you want to denoise your photo. What you could do also, you can also show the presets based on the similar kind of filters. And that's because, for example, you don't want to show the denoise filters if you are importing a photo which has ISO 100 because obviously you don't need to denoise the photo. Just a quick interruption to say that finally I've organized a tutorial hub for dark table where you can find, of course, plenty of tutorials and videos on how to better edit a photo with dark table. It's all free, I don't ask for your email. I'm gonna put a link down here and in the video description below. And now let's get back to the video. Uh, I think you got the picture about how to use the presets. I want to show you thought um, a few presets that I pre-built in the RGB curve. I activate the RGB curve modules and you see that there are a few predefined again filters here and a few other filters 
that I'm gonna give you for free. Uh, I don't need any email, you can download them. I'm gonna put a link into the video description. Just after I show you how these presets work, I'm gonna show you straight away how to import and export them in one single click. So easy! For this photo here, I, for example, want to add a little bit of reddish or magenta into this uh, uh, sky. And I say, okay, add my red sky, you see that? I'm adding this red sky here and I'm working the RGB curve to do that. Now, if you're not familiar with the RGB curve, no panic because next week I'm gonna publish a video on the RGB curve and also the way that I built these presets. So I really suggest you, if interested, to tick that little bell and subscribe to the channel so you get a notification when it will be published. If instead I want to have an orange sky, just click here on the orange sky and you see that I have a nice orange sky and uh, the same with magenta here. Uh, another similar photo that I've done this time of the Philippines and I have done this photo with a, a Samsung S9 which is not even the latest release. I go down here and for example I want to add the sun in the sky and you see that the job is done so quick and effective. Other presets that I have built, you can see them here. I want to give you an example of this uh, green city which works very well when there is uh, a lot of green into the photo like this photo of a um, beautiful temple in Vietnam. I go again the RGB curve and I say uh, green city and you see that in this case I add a little bit of a contrast, I dark up a bit green and it's all done in a single module. How good is the RGB curve? Other presets I have done, for example, uh, I've done one for the market. Uh, let's get this photo here of <laughs> this uh, amazing shop in uh, Vietnam. And you can go here and say uh, dark market and it's all done. I add a little bit of a light, contrasting, colors, everything in one single module. How good is that? And I have another couple of photos I want to show you now. A few other presets. Very quickly again, I go on uh, this photo here of again dark market and apply the same uh, presets dark market you see how nicely it comes out again only in one preset and let's jump to Russia now close to Moscow I was in my train waiting to leave and uh, you know I've seen this beautiful opportunity here uh, with this nice little kid looking out of the train. In this case, I probably would use one with dark contrast with green or dark contrast with cyan. Uh, let's go with this one with cyan. It works very nicely, gives that nice um, city effect, very dark. Obviously, in this case, I would have to apply this module to everything except the face of a kid but that's easy to do it with a parametric mask i'm gonna add a video here if you're not familiar with that how to use the parametric mask and the few little secrets now how can you input and export the presets so quickly easy to do it let's go here in the global preferences and then you go into the presets and here you have all of the presets for every single module predefined and the ones customized by you. If they are predefined, you can see this little lock on the left side. Otherwise, these are the customized by me. So for example, I take the Fade and Light Pro and I double click on this one. And you see that you can also here define if you want to auto apply or if you want to only show these presets based on the filter that we've seen before. And uh, what you do, you just do a save. And when you do save, you're going to export this preset to the folder that you want. In this case, I've already folder with dark tape or RGB curve presets. And, and you see it's not here at the moment. And I say select and boom, it's saved. Now, how do you do the import? Let's first delete the preset I have just exported. I'll go here and then we re-import it from the same directory. I double click and I say delete. Yes, what you do now, you don't need actually to open the RGB curve. You just do import. You go into the folder where you have your presets. Here it is the one that I want to import here. And it's imported, easy. And you can see it here. 
just import it with the sum of the values. And that is closing this video about the preset. You see how easy it is to use the presets, define your own, import and export them, so you can move them from your local PC to maybe your laptop. All of these presets about the RGB curves are available down there in the video description. I'm gonna put a link there. And again, if you want to know how I made them, just subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell, and you'll be notified once I post a video about the RGB curve. See you next week. Bye.